Hey there sausages, Jason back again, and today we're doing another sort of like unbuild or an unbox and build video. But it's not Lego this time, it's actually a model. Um, so I've been actually wanting to do a model for quite a while, but sadly I can't ever find the model that I want. That's like the type of model that I like, because um, I like the actual like model models. Um, like glue it together, lots of little pieces, many many hours of, of uh, actual putting it together. But instead, most of the time what I find are those uh, click together models. So that's what this one is. Um, and if you can't see already, it's a Star Destroyer from Star Wars, uh, more specifically themed with the uh, uh, the Rogue One movie. Um, this is made by Revel, and it's actually got light and sound. So we're going to open this up, and we're actually going to build it. Um, and then I'm going to have an actual Star Destroyer toy to play with. <laughs> so I actually, I actually picked this up while I was uh, uh, working my shift at GameStop for uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon to release. Uh, so, I don't know. Like, <laughs> go to go for Pokemon, pick up Star Wars. Anyway, let me just read the back here real quick. Basically it says it's 46 parts, it's got detailed lighted engines, authentic details, and it's a 15.75 uh, inch uh, in size, so a little bit over a foot long. Um, and it's got eight positionable gun turrets and integrated folding stand display. Alright, and it says it actually includes the batteries, thank god, because I typically don't have any batteries around the house. Um, it wasn't that expensive either. The price on this is actually 30 bucks, uh, so it's reasonable. Alright, so let's crack this open. Um, plastic. Oh. See, and this is the thing that I don't like about them. Like, I like the fact that this is a Star Destroyer, and it's awesome, but it's already basically thing. Because I remember, I remember doing models when I was a kid, and uh, like you literally have to like, you have those sheets of plastic with the, all the tabs and everything like that. You have to like go there with like a little knife and then cut them out, or or you sort of like twist them out and then hope to God that you're not gonna like bend it out and uh, break it. That's what I was always afraid of. So I've got basically a whole bunch of pieces here that I'm just gonna pop out of the plastic. I don't know. Like, even though like it's still cool, um, it seems like it sort of takes a little bit of the fun out of it. Like it's uh, like half of the experience has been taken away from me. Right, this bag. When I got it, I was almost tempted to like pick up some, um, or like I thought that I could pick up some uh, like model paints and actually just sort of give it like a little bit more detail myself, which I might. It's either that or I um, like paint it in my own way. <laughs> like give it like a really, a really wild color scheme. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. All right, so I got another bag of parts. All right, and then one more bag. This one seems to have, yeah, this one's got like the little blue pieces and everything like that that light up for the hyperdrive engine. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to turn the camera around and we're going to take a quick look at this and get it all built. Uh, so give me just a second and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got all my pieces over here. Let's just sort of spread them out a little bit. Um, at least get the sort of like with like sort of stuff. Uh, I mean, there's only 40, what was it, 46 pieces, so it's not like there's a lot of like weird little intricate things to deal with but it'll make it a little bit easier. And I've got no black pieces like when I have the Lego kits, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> All right, so uh, I've got the instructions open uh, off to my side, and I'm basically just gonna be reading off of those. I probably could do this without instructions, but I don't want to pants it. I want to actually make it correctly. So we're gonna start off with the bottom piece of the Star Destroyer, um, which is this guy here. And then it says to install the, um, it says to install the little uh, stand pieces. So that's what we're gonna do first. So first one here is this one, which just kind of goes in here and then clips in place. And then it's basically just like folds in and out from that position. And then the next ones go here towards the actual back of it. 
and basically they, they achieve the same goal. So let's take a look. Basically they are right here. Oh, and then they lock in place. So that's basically the stand for it, and it just rests on those. So let's close those up for right now. Alright, next it says... Install this guy, which is the landing bay. Like if you see that, that's like the landing bay that it picked up the uh, um, the ship that uh, Princess Leia was on in the very first movie. So that's where they sort of. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. I mean, it it's a huge thing, but like looking at it this way, it's just like incredibly tiny. All right. So there's that, and then we're also installing uh, this part here, which this is actually the. Uh, like this is the, the noise maker, like this is where the batteries are installed and it is actually what controls the noise and sound and everything like that. Um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna pull the pin because it's got like a, one of those little pull pins that remove it from like demo mode. Um, and I'm just gonna leave that in here for right now so that way I'm not making a whole bunch of noise. But as you can see, there's a speaker grate right here and then this is where the actual button is. Let's leave that alone. All right, and then, we're going to install one of these pieces, which are exactly the same, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, and basically, it's just the, uh, the rear detail for the, the drive engine. Maybe. Or do they actually... Oh, it actually does have a specific sign. Interesting. They're identical, but they're uh, they're built with completely different um, plugs on them. That way you don't mess them up like I did. Okay. How am I failing a snap tight? <laughs> I should stick with Lego. All right, so there's that part in. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to do the actual engines themselves. So we've got three of these guys. And what it says is to install these into them. So these actually just go in here like that. Yeah, so they just clip in. And it's just to help the lights that are inside the electronic piece uh, get um, the blue glow. That's what color the engines glow. I actually really like the blue glow. Like if you look at the uh, if you look at the back of the Millennium Falcon and you see um, like that that line of engines along its back, um, they they glow like a really nice blue. I think it's actually really quite nice. It's lovely. All right, so let's throw these in here. And these aren't really being held into place by anything just yet. So I just want to be a little bit careful. I'm gonna put this somewhere else so I actually have a place to put this guy. The next page of instructions, it's talking about this next piece here, which just slides in, but isn't quite clamped into anything just yet. So there you go, that's the rear uh, view of the Star Destroyer. When I've actually got it all built together, um, then we'll go over the rest of it. All right, so we're actually gonna put the top on now. When it comes down to it, I mean, there's really not that much to the inside, is there? Right, so let's see if I can't get this all lined up properly. Got that snap tight action at work. <laughs> camera so I can actually see what I was doing. I guess the scale lends it to be like a little bit thinner than what I would actually imagine it to be. 
there you go. Here's your, <laughs> here's your solid pizza wedge so far. Not many pieces left though, sadly. All right, so next we're actually gonna add some more of the engine pieces. One of these are something like their, what, like sublight engines? So one, and what this, sorry, I should have actually shown you. What this actually consists of, it consists of this little round piece and then a little blue piece. Again, I'm, I'm assuming for illumination purposes, which I don't know if these light up though. Anyway, I'm curious, uh, to anyone that's watching this, I mean, are you familiar with models at all? Like, I mean, do you, like, is, is model building like a hobby of yours? Um, do you, like, have a specific type of model that you go after? Like, are you like me where you would rather have, like, <laughs> super glue crusted fingers and, and actually be building, like, a proper model uh, rather than uh, a snap tight like this? Even though I'm not, like, a huge model builder, like, when it comes to models, I mean, like it's always going to be um, Lego for the most part. And then you'll see right here, I'm just clipping these into the back. Right, push them in nice and good, make sure they're in all the way. There you go. Basically the entire back portion is complete now. So it looks like we're actually going to start with the assembly for the uh, control surfaces. And this one starts with this guy, which gets flanked with these two pieces in this orientation. Okay, there's that. And then this little piece goes right here. Yes. And then this piece goes on top of it. Crazy thing about these is that like their entire city is in space. Alright, so that's followed by taking this little bit of housing and putting it right here. And then putting this one right on top of it. Cool. Okay, so now we're actually going to assemble. Uh... Oh, okay. We're going to uh, uh, assemble the bridge. Hey. All right. So the bridge, um, that little tower that goes up to it, um, comes right in here. Just push that in. Sorry, right, it's not quite locking down. Oh wait, no, it totally is. Never mind. I thought it didn't actually uh, hit where it should be. And then this piece goes right in here. Okay, so now we actually take the bridge portion and we've got those little, um, I think they're actually the, set, the shield generators, which come in two pieces, so. <laughs> Put that together. And one more. I don't know if I can actually have figured this out without instructions. Right, and they're slightly angled on the base, so it shows you like which direction they're actually supposed to go in, but they clip into this half of the shield, uh, the bridge, sorry. And then this one clips in right here. All right. Doesn't seem to be going in as far as it should be. Oh, okay, I just, I actually had the orientation a little bit incorrect. I think I did. And then this part goes in on top of it. Does it not? <laughs> okay, I missed it. I almost missed a step. There we go. There's that. And then now this comes together. Oh, okay. 
Now I see what I was doing wrong here. There's actually... These were on the wrong side. Were they not? They have got a, they've got a little, a little groove on them. Did I put these together wrong? <laughs> now I can't get it apart. <laughs> I thought they were like identical. As long as they don't break the piece, I don't care. There's a little groove in the bottom of one of the sides, and basically it's supposed to line up um, specifically with a notch on the inside of the other ridge cavity. And it looks like I got them incorrect. So I'm going to take them apart, put them back together, and hope that now they are correct. Okay, knife over there. Okay, so that's one side. Now this should be angled. It's angled incorrectly. No, it isn't. Shh, didn't see anything. <laughs> okay. All right, so there you go. Bridge, all built. And it just sort of like slides and clips into place there. So there's that. And then now we actually get to do the turrets. So there's eight of these. They are turnable, but if you can tell by the fact that they're like super flat on top, um, like there's no way to turn them aside from like just putting your whole finger on top of it. <laughs> so, turbo lasers. Mm. All right, that's basically it. Now you got your poseable turrets and the entirety of the Star Destroyer. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we'll take another look at this thing uh, all complete. All right, be right back. Oh, that's my phone. Hopefully nothing important. <laughs> all right, so here's the actual Star Destroyer, all put together. Uh, Size-wise, it's actually quite impressive. I like it. I wish it was a little bit longer. Um, like, <laughs> I know that like a foot and what is it? A, three, a foot and three inches um, is already pretty long, but if it was just that little bit bigger, I think it'd be it, the detail would stand out more. Yeah, so on the bottom here, you got your little stands that I was talking about earlier, and it just helps it sit nicely. But honestly. I mean, I don't really want it resting like that. I kind of want to, like, <laughs> I almost want to hang it from the ceiling. Because <laughs> I think that would be a little bit cooler. And as far as, like, the actual detail on the sides go, like, you can definitely see that it's got all the little, um, the detail. It seems like they've, they have thinned it up just a little bit. Like, they've cleaned up the model design. Uh, there's the actual back with the hyperlight engines and the sub, the sublight engines. And then up here you got the shield uh, generators on the, and on the cockpit, and then basically you got like your command crews and everything like that too. Um, and then on the bottom, this is that um, hanger that I was talking about. And it looks like they've got a smaller hanger like right underneath here as well. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's pull this pin and actually see what this thing is capable of. There you go. Pin released, and let's light up those engines. <laughs> So it, it plays like a little bit of like noise and then also space battle sound. Um, it lights up brighter than I thought that it would too. Like that's actually a, like a, a nice bright blue. Does it just have... That sound, it almost sounds like the Star Destroyer? No, not the Star Destroyer, but the Death Star. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to let me know what you think of this video. If you want to check out more of my stuff, I stream on Twitch, and then I also have plenty of content on uh, YouTube already. 
So we'll see you guys later. Bye.